Mr. Frederick Kwesia Palu, about whom there's a lot of drama, uh, if I have time, I can say, uh, because there's a lot of legal drama about Justice Apalu uh, becoming Chief Justice. You have to remember that Justice Apalu is very close friends with the Akufado family and his mentor and the uh, head of chambers. So Apalu worked in uh, the Akufado chambers, Apalu Victor Usu, and others. They, they worked in Akufado chambers in the early 60s. So their boss was Chief Justice in 1966 to 7, 66, uh, 1966 to 1970, then in 1977. Uh, uh, Frederick Apalu uh, took the position of his former uh, master of chambers, Edward Akufado, and he became the Lord Chief Justice. However, there was significant drama on, you know. In 1980, uh, in 1979, elections occurred and the CPP won the elections. Apalu is UP, you have to understand that he's friends with Akufado and Dan Kwai and all that. So he's UP and he's, he's sitting Chief Justice, okay. So uh, when the coup occurs, there's some, what we call the transitional provisions. The transitional provisions continue in office some of these people, IGP, CDS, Chief Justice and all that. The transitional provisions continues them in office so that you don't have to pull down the whole system when you are coming back to constitution after a coup d'etat. So the new president, when he comes, will decide whether he wants to continue with you as Chief Justice, continue with you as IGP and all of that. So that was the conundrum in which Justice Apalu and the government found themselves in 1970. So like an NDC government wins the election and the Chief Justice MPP, something like that. So what did they do? Very clever men. What did they do? They decided to nominate Justice Apalu for the job. He was already Chief Justice, but now a constitution has come. So you have to nominate him for the job because under the, the cool time, there's no Supreme Court. The court system ends at the Court of Appeal, but there's a Chief Justice, which was him. Now you're going to have a Supreme Court. So they're going to nominate people to the Supreme Court, appoint them, and then, there's, and then the Chief Justice will come out of the Supreme Court. So the government nominated people for the Supreme Court, including Fred Apalu. Very interesting, okay. Knowing that they don't like Apalu, everybody was confused in Ghana. All right. So Freda Palu appears before the Parliament's Appointments Committee and tells the Appointments Committee that I don't have to be here because I am Chief Justice of the Republic of Ghana. I have not been removed as Chief Justice of the Republic of Ghana. The President cannot purport to renominate me as Chief Justice of the Republic of Ghana because I am Chief Justice. Because the transitional provisions continues me as Chief Justice. He says, anybody in the office of Chief Justice shall be deemed to have been appointed under this constitution. That's what the transitional provision said. Anyone who is ex- including Chief Justice, shall be deemed to have been appointed under the Constitution. So Apalu went to Parliament, to the Vetting Committee, and made that case that I don't have to be here because I'm Chief Justice. Well, the Appointment Committee chairman said, very well, Mr. Chief Justice, but the President has nominated you. Our job is to vet you and report back to the President. So decide what you want to do. Just Apalu, on the consultation of people like Nana Kufado and others, Chachuchikata and others, decided to participate in the vetting. He did. Then, after the vetting, it was reported that Parliament's Appointment Committee had failed Justice Apalu at the vetting, so he wasn't nominated. That was a trick of the CPP. Fantastic trick. It didn't work. Apalu then called his boys, boys as I put it, Nana Kufado, the leader. He said, Chief, come. You guys should go to court and file. Nana Kufado says, I'll do it with your nephew Chachuchikata. No problem. So Chachuchikata is brought on board. So the case then, Nana Kufado then picks his friend, Dr. Kwame Amakotofu, who was teaching at KNUST in Kumase. His nickname was Ojampa because he has an Ojampa hotel uh, almost near KNUST. He sends his friend down from Kumase and says, Amakotofu, come and file this thing. I'm the lawyer. I'm working with Chachu on this matter. So that's why the case is called Tofu versus the Attorney General. It is Amwako Tofu who filed the case. So the case that went before the Supreme Court at that time was that well, for the court to determine the effect of the transitional provisions, whether Justice Apalu, having been a Chief Justice already and now nominated by the President, whether the transitional provisions that says that he should operate as if he was appointed under the Constitution makes it ineligible for Apalu to appear before Parliament's Appointments Committee. The court, including Justice Japon, Kabinet Japon's father, held by a 3-2 majority that Apalu was right, Akufado was right, Satuchikata was right. Famous case of Tofo as Attorney General. Pandemonium in the CPP government. Attorney General Joe Randolph has to go and explain to President Liman how he has lost this case so that Apalu, who has failed vetting as Chief Justice, will have to remain as Chief Justice. That was the matter. Very, very interesting matter. The Supreme Court held that Apalu was the substantial Chief Justice. Nothing can change it. So, the CPP government had to proceed with an MPP Chief Justice. That's what happened in 1979. That's the story of Fred Apalu. It's a story that has Nana Kufuado in it. It has Chachu Chikata in it. It has President Liman in it. It has Joe Randolph in it. 
Very, very interesting. It has Justice Sej Japon, Kwabne Japon's father, also in it. Very interesting. Rich with history, isn't it? Fred Apalu was Chief Justice in 1977 to 1986. Particularly distinguished lawyer, we have been told. We didn't come to meet him, but all the senior lawyers. If you spoke to Peter Ajete for 10 minutes and he doesn't mention Fred Apalu, then you are not talking to Peter Ajete. They eulogize him so much that we thought that he was a god, but, but he's not. He's a great lawyer and a good Chief Justice. Fred Apalu, uh, may he rest in eternal peace.